Hey fam, what's up? It's Kuzi here. I'm right now in Madrid, in my studio. And today we have a challenge that we're going to make uh, a kilo drop in under 10 minutes. So we're going to uh, dive deep into my Tool Room Trademark sample pack, which came out last week on Splice. Uh, we're going to look for some cool sounds. We're going to look for uh, some vocals, some effects, so we can make a killer drop. So we're going to look for uh, some loops here. Uh, I'd like to start with the top loops because if you have the, the groove going, the track is going to sound much better easily. So we're going to go for some loops here. Uh, we're going to check. I want, I want something fast. That sounds really, really, really nice, but we're going to take only a part of it because we want it to be like the groove very tight. Yeah, this works. This can really work. So we're going to put this one here because I'm going to leave this space for the buildup. Uh, we're going to filter it because I, I only want the higher frequencies on this one. I'm going to make a loop here because I like to work that way. This is like more continuous, you know, it, it has a little bit of driving. I think we're, we're good to go. We're going to go for some top loops. Love this one. We're going to go for this one because it has a lot of driving here. I, I love those high hi-hats, you know, that, that, that sound really, really, really tight. We're going to... We're going to mix these ones. Let's look for some more energy here. I like that first part of the of the loop that this one. So we're going to put this one but very low, very low. And we're going to sample some parts here. Let's check. The club, I like this club. So we're going to keep this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. We're going to put this one here, not this one. Yeah, and that small percussion that this one has here sounds really, really nice. So we're going to leave these ones here, we're going to put a small fade. Yeah, I love this one. We are going to put these ones here together. Yeah, those definitely work. Uh, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go for a bassline that works with the song and later we're going to work on the kick drum because I think that way is going to be easier. So we're going to look for some kind of bassline. Not bad. Not bad, but we're going to go for something that should be a little bit faster. I love this one. So let's see, this one is in D minor and the first, the main loop I would say is in C minor. So we're going to see if this works here. Yeah, it definitely works. So we're going to now look for some kind of kick drum that works here. I want something really punchy. Not bad. This one really works. I like how how the, the tail of the kick goes together with this one. So we're going to see how they work together. Okay, we're going to change the colors because I like to be organized with these things. So these ones. Wow, this one works really good together. We're going to look now for some kind of 
hook for the track because in in all the songs you need a hook because otherwise it will just be like another like generic tech house song you know so we're going to look for some hooks here uh, actually vocal loops let's see how this works together <laughs> Ooh, I, I like this one. I like this one. So let's put this one here. This one is in D minor. And we're working on minus two. Yeah, we're working on C minor. So we're going to put this one down two. Also, let's see how it works with the kick on the bass line. So we are going to make some kind of build up here. So uh, what we need for the for the oh, sorry, what we need for the for the build up is we need to filter the kick a little bit so it doesn't interfere too much with other things. So we're going to put some kind of EQ here. Yeah, I like this. We're going to make this be filter like we don't want this last one. It's okay, we're going to bounce these and make a little fade here. And we're going to roll off some of the top end too, because I like to keep the kick drum quite in the back in the, in the build ups. Yeah, we're going to put also this one here, which is the, the baseline. I'm going to filter it with a filter, yeah, because we, we, we only want the rumble. Not not to be in the face when, when it's in the in the build up. Yeah, that way. We're going to fade these ones too. Okay, so, and now we're going to make the build up with a, with a vocal. I like the build ups to be quite clean. That's how I work, and I like the build ups to be quite clean in these terms. We're going to we're going to automate these because we want it to be like really wet to dry and we're going to put these ones down here. Let's put some of the drums here and let's see how they do. Yeah, this one really works. We're going to put some effects here. Uh, this one. This one works really good. Really, really, really good. It's like drum snare. So it works really good when you want those uh, build-ups really tight. Yeah, works really nice. We're going to put some kind of crash here. Yeah, this one is really, really high in volume. We're going to turn down that one. And a little bit of double crashes because work really good. Really nice. We need some kind of atmosphere and I heard before a vocal loop here, which is this one. This one. We're going to use this one. We're going to use this one very low in volume in the track, but it actually will give it some drive, you know, will make the track go a little bit like faster. Uh, I like the atmospheres a lot and I use them quite a lot in my production. We're going to filter it because we want it to be quite in the back. Check. This one is actually in D minor, I think, so we need to turn it down like two semitones. I think it's sounding cool. We need just one more uplifter, uh, like uh, for example, I had this one, this one. This one works really good, it's so long. 
I have been using this one in all my productions and we're going to use this one also here. We will turn down the volume because it's going to sound really high otherwise. Yeah, that one is really going. Uh, let's see the final result and let's see if we have a killer drop in less than 10 minutes. So let's go. So, uh, we're ready to go, we're ready to put some details on it, but it, this will be pretty much the song. I think it's sounding pretty nice. And um, yeah, I hope you like the tutorial. Uh, I hope you like the sample pack. Uh, so yeah, keep the tracks coming and see you in the dance floor version. Bye.